Hello everyone, my name is Olivia Alston and I am an interior design major at Meredith. I'm also minoring in Spanish and studio art. I created a website for my portfolio and we'll be using it to look at some of my favorite projects that I completed throughout my college career. This is the homepage for my website where I have an image of me and my aunt with some hand renderings that I did as well. And I also included a painting that I recently finished just to incorporate some of my artwork that I enjoy. So here we have some furniture, fixtures, and equipment for the first space that I did and a rendered perspective of the room. So the first space that we have is Jim's office. Um, this project was an office space for a retired handicapped veteran. Uh, and I used minimalistic and contemporary styles with dark and neutral colors to portray Jim's simple personality. The wall-to-wall -wall carpet was used to prevent slipping, falling, or tripping that may be caused by Jim's walking cane. We wanted to eliminate all possible hazards in this space so that Jim would be confident in completing his daily tasks without the fear of injury. This carpet also provided acoustical properties that were needed. Along with the carpet, soundproof walls were used to ensure a professional setting that would block out any interruptions from outside of the room and allow focus for when clients visited. Jim needed his office to be sophisticated and masculine and mature so that he would be able to proudly invite his clients to discuss work in a professional setting. I included the tree-like plant with the white base and other lighter accessories to, contract, to contrast from the darker floor and wall material. We also wanted plants in the office because they have been proven to assist with productivity and reinforce focus. The zebra picture that is framed was with Photographed by Jim and the deer ball piece was used to incorporate his hobby of hunting and enjoying the outdoors. I used aspects from his hobby to personalize his office space and create a room that he enjoyed being. So the next project we have is the playroom for children with autism. Once again, we have some uh, furniture that I chose um, with my partner. So this was a project I completed with Zenea Lynn, uh, and the purpose of this project was to create a playroom that allows children with autism to efficiently learn. This room is an inviting space which will empower children on the spectrum to overcome everyday obstacles. We incorporated calm greens and blues to promote relaxation and encourage focus. Sensory furniture and images are utilized to assist the child to re relax and concentrate on specific tasks. Different colors and textures are used throughout the furniture to help differentiate between the spaces. As you can see, we also achieve this by using bookshelves to, to divide the room up. Uh, and we included a hammock in the corner of the room that can be utilized as a safe space for the children whenever they are feeling overwhelmed. We found that furniture like this can comfort those with autism when needed. There's also a calendar and alphabet poster near the washing station so that the children will be able to practice and learn fundamentals while washing their hands. This is one of my favorite projects because it was one of the first projects that I was forced to be considerate of all aspects of the space because we were dealing with children on the spectrum. It allowed me to realize how impactful design can be and how it goes further than what colors and furniture looks best. Good design addresses how we can improve the client's everyday routine and create a space that they look forward to being in. So that is all I have time for today, but please feel free to email me with any questions or check out my website to view my resume and the rest of my portfolio. Thank you for your time.